Hello everyone, my name is Loka and welcome to a new game of StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. Now today I, I felt like doing a little bit of a different something, because I'm actually going to be recording my own hand while playing this live game of StarCraft 2. I had a couple of people um, actually suggesting a similar thing and I was actually very curious how my hands were moving about the keyword myself. So I just actually noticed while I'm recording this however that my battery of my camera is kind of low. So this might actually die out during the game but um... Whatever happens, please let me know in the comment section below what you think of this keyboard camera right now. Because I think it should be a pretty easy or a pretty interesting, uh, a pretty interesting result. Um, like putting my hand on the on the actual screen, and you can see what's happening and whatnot. Because a lot of people have been um, have been suggesting a similar kind of setup, and I felt like it was a good thing to at the very least try out. So let me know in that comment section right below that like button what you think of this. Other than that, we are playing a live game of StarCraft 2. Let's have a look. My opponent is a Terran player, let's say GLHF. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a Zerg versus Terran on Heavy Rain LE. Gotta go for a hatch first. Let me actually make sure I set up my camera hold keys right there. Uh, 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 there we go. Come on, Mr. Drone. There we go. So, in ZVT, there's really not that many different openers that a Zerg can really go for. Um, honestly, there's only really a couple, and none of them involve a 14 Overlord. Um, so, <laughs> I've got a spawning pool it up right there. Um, but, in, in general, there's really not that many build orders you can really go for as a Zerg player in, uh, in ZVT. Uh, either they're like an aggressive roach opener, um, with maybe a couple of bailings, which is something that we could honestly go for. There's really not that many options. I'm thinking of, uh, of opening up with a 17 gas right here, though a little bit later than yesterday's live game. Um, it should be should be a fairly similar result, though. Okay, what is he up to? Mm -mm -mm. Is this an early early command center or that's a weird way to actually put down a depot already at this point in the game? He is going for a drone scout, however, so this could very well be a CC first. Kind of want to see it. Nope, it's not. Okay, it's definitely a marine then, so I need to make sure I get the overlord to this little high ground right there. Because that actually allows me to um, make stuff, which is useful. There we go. First queen has started. Gonna start my second queen right there too, and I'm gonna make a set of zerglings, make sure I have them hold keyed right away. So he is opening up pretty greedily right here, but this overlord positioning... I actually saw TLO do that recently. This apparently is viable. Oh, what? That's a weird follow-up right there, actually, to go for that, um, both an SCV scout and doing that. Oh well, I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it. Gonna make another set of Zerglings just for, um, safety purposes. Oh, oh, that was so close. Okay, oh, I lost one, which is fine. Gotta make sure I don't lose any more than this, though. Which is crucial. He is actually being awkward right here. Why would you go for an SCV scout and then also go double Hellion? That doesn't make any sense. Come on, jump up. I know you want to. Come on. I'm right here, sir. Just jump up the latch. I swear, it's gonna be a great decision. Whoa, 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 phone! Jeez, phone! Whew. Okay, let's hope that won't happen anymore during this game. <laughs> Jeez, phone. Was that really necessary? Uh, but yeah, I got Zerking Speed coming up already, so I am relatively safe. I could honestly... Is that a bunker right there? That is a weird build order that he's going for. Like, that's not safe at all. I could easily just bailing bust him right now. Hmm, we could, but it'd be a little bit late, I feel like. So I'm just gonna play it normally. Looks like he actually decided that um, he doesn't want to do any of this anymore. Um, and he just went home with the Reapers for honestly no apparent reason either. So I'm gonna put drones back in gas with Zerking Speed finishing up. Gonna start double Evo Chamber, as well as another Gas Geyser. So I'm gonna have to do some droning up right now. He's playing pretty greedily, and he honestly really won't move out until a long time. Now you can see this overlord position right here is huge. Like this actually tells me everything right now. So that overlord positioning for any Zerg player watching, do it, do it. It's 100% worth it. <laughs> Even though sometimes the players will actually lift up their command centers and try and kill it, it's likely gonna be worth it in 99% of the situations. 
There we go. He's gonna be a bit annoying. Gonna follow it up with a couple of Zerglings right now. Uh, I have link speed done already, so it shouldn't be the biggest of deals. Got two queens for defensive purposes as well. And I'm gonna make sure I spread some more creep. Ooh. Close one right there. Losing three creep too much for, for free is practically too much. Okay, here we go. Oh, run, 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 Zerglings! Come on! Oh! Got him! But it might not be enough Zerglings. Oh well. I managed to hold them back for now at the very least, which is decent. Okay, more droning up right now. Oh, don't kill him. There we go. Oh, really? He's gonna use a, a scan on that? That is fine. That is fine then with me. That is actually a quite an expensive scan at this point in the game, so... I am, uh, I'm not complaining too much about that. Meaning that he simply just wasted 300 minerals to deny that creep threat. I will just be able to replace them anyway, quite easily. So I don't really know what he is up to right now, so I shouldn't be too greedy droning. But I can at least make a couple more for that base right there. Gonna make sure I get um, overlord speed going. Um, I got my baning nest going up right now as well, which is nice. And I'm gonna start some more gas geysers. Now, he lost a couple of units right there, so the aggression that he might have wanted to go for is not going to be as strong. Go, my high finish, or my spire, or my uh, lair rather finishing up. Um, I don't have this one hotkey, that's why I didn't have his nuff. Okay, so there we go. Um, I'm gonna start putting drones in gas right there. Gonna start... You go there. Gonna start my um, spire very soon. There we go. And I'm just gonna make sure I get more and more drones going at this base too. Once I have max saturation, I should be good to go. A scouting Hellion at the 11 minute mark. Such a standard one. So this guy is playing kind of funky, but... Okay, so it looks like he's expanded right now, which is cool. Gonna have to scout around though, whether or not he's moving out, because he had quite a big army right there, so just running around my Zerglings. Let's make a macro hat tree too. My Chris Red is looking pretty decent in this game, except for the left side of the map. I would have liked it a little bit uh, a little bit better, but all in all I can't complain too much. Gonna start my fourth base right there, and he is already having a sensor tower up, okay. That likely indicates he's not gonna push out anytime soon, right? So, I should be fine. Oh god. Gonna have to make a bunch more zerglings right now. He is, he is playing this funky. And he actually will be able to just cancel this thing right now because I lost a bunch of circlings for no reason. It's not looking too, uh, not looking too good right now. Oh, well, I got a couple of transfusers ready, which is useful. And there we go. Okay, so I'm doing some aggression on his side of the map as well, killing a ton of SCVs. That's gonna be worth it in the end, just because of the amount of SCVs I killed right there. And obviously I also managed to push him back, so should be should be decent. Now I lost one queen, which is okay. Um, and I still have my crew spread going, so it's it's all in all it's not terrible, but it's not as effective as I would have liked to see it. Gonna have to take another hatch in the main as well as another hatchery right here. Um, just to make sure I don't lose all my stuff. And I'm gonna have to saturate these gas gashes too. Now I have a ton of money and I need to figure out how I'm gonna make sure that that doesn't like go to waste. So I'm gonna have to um, buy as much time as I can right now, which I'm gonna try and do with these mutalisks. Like the position of these mutas will basically allow me to 
Oh. Oh, I thought for a second there were Mutalisk. Um, the uh, positioning of these Mutas will basically allow me to buy as much time as I can. Right now, he's not going to move out because he knows, okay, I will m pretty much lose an entire mineral line if I decide to do so. So, oh, <laughs> risk he move once there more, <laughs> once more right there by me. I uh, can't keep doing that. Okay. Okay, so there we go. My money is getting lower and lower right now. Now, he does have a pretty similar income to me. But it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Just simply because of how the way I crushed his army earlier and I really didn't lose anything for it. He also doesn't have nearly as scary of an army as she would usually look like, but here we go. There we go. Gonna try and move in before he can siege up these tanks. Splitting up my banelings. Oop! And it looks like we will be able to clean this up. Target firing the Metafax right now to make sure that those are not going anywhere. And I got a ton of reinforcements coming right now. So that's good. Okay. Let's see if we can target fire some of these things down. Managed to get the sensor tower. Hmm, it's quite a defensible pos or a defendable position, I suppose. So it's not too easy. But I'm just gonna try and loop around the main now. Making more and more units still. I do plan on going for a timing attack. Okay, here we go. He's trying to move out. Oh, managing to get most of that. Okay. Running in with the links again. Make sure I get this. Should be good. Oh, gotta watch out. Oh, I lost too many, uh, too many mutas right there. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Ah, I lost a ton of mutas for no apparent reason. Oh, okay. That was more than I actually anticipated for. I thought I could actually clean him up right there, but turns out Terran units don't generally die. Forget about that fact. Um, gonna have to run around once more. Okay, so it looks like he's actually moving across the map once more. This is gonna be the big attack that I need to stop. I'm still making a ton of units, so I should have more, but... You know, you never know. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that actually doesn't work at all. Ah, no! Oh, come on. Oh, I thought I had this one. That was actually an extremely close game. Why did I not have that hatchery hotkey? Hmm. I lost too many mutas right there when I attacked actually to his side of the map and I didn't really kill that much economy during this game. So in the end he still has his mules going obviously and mules are really freaking good at gathering minerals. Ooh, it's gonna be a pretty close one still though. I'm not quite out of it yet but he might be mining his fort base right now, which is the big problem. <gasps> no! Oh no, 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 no! I actually blew up my own bailings on accident right there. <gasps> Wrong hotkey, Loco. Oh god, that is so silly of me. Why the fuck did I do that? Why the fuck did I just blow up my own bailings? That does not help. That does not help at all. Yeah, well, that's definitely GG. 
So I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And a tip for you, do not blow up your own mailings. Bye. Absolutely crucial. Because any kind of build order that you follow is going to be irrelevant if you don't queen inject properly. Um, any kind of, you know, just timing push that you want to execute is going to be irrelevant if you don't do your queen injects properly.